okay hello everyone victor momo from excel moments and in this video i want to show you a simple idea i've been messing around with which is being able to view all worksheets on one worksheet okay so all the worksheets in the workbook being able to view them on one worksheet but now not viewing them one after the other but being able to view them might be in multiples of four so what i've done here is to create a quad panel where i can see four sheets at once the idea here is really just to have a sneak peek of what's going on on some of those worksheets right you have a big screen like maybe i do a 32 inch screen you know this will look much bigger and you can see what's going on on those worksheets at once and as you click here you know on your scroll bar you click you know it changes to the next set of four the next set of four the next set of what is i'm seeing oh yeah there's a table here there's some flag here you know i can see here that oh yeah there's some charts on this sheets and you can see the sheet names you know and of course because they have to be divisible by four in terms of the number of worksheets when it's not you know you will see an out of range but the question is how did i create this that's what i'm going to show you in this video it's built out of you know very simple ideas Okay, so this is just a replica of the sheets workbook you've seen over there. I just call this new sheet sneak peek, and I'm going to walk you through, you know, the idea. It's very simple. So take a quick example where you select this range, something like this. You do a copy, and you come back here, and instead of pasting, you know, as values, you do a paste. You go to paste special, and, you know, you kind of pick this here, which is linked picture. So what does this mean? It's pasted as an image, but if anything changes here, for example, if I take out the info here and just change it to background, okay? So let's just do that, background, and then come back to sneak peek. You can see that it's now background. There's no more background info. And when you look at the image there, you can see that there's a formula in the formula bar, which pretty much shows the range that the picture picks up. So what do I do here? I can just come here. If I don't want to use index choose filter sheet, for example, I can change this and just change it to the lookup sheet. If I change this to lookup sheet, you can see something different here. And if you go to the lookup sheet, you can see that, you know, it kind of looks similar. And that's the idea, you know, finding a creative way to be able to change, you know, the reference to in the formula bar for each of those pictures. And once you can do that, you pretty much have what you need. So let's start up first by getting a list of, you know, worksheets in this workbook. I will take it from there. So to get that, I'm going to use, you know, the old school method. I have videos describing some of this where I use the get.workbook function. So I do list of sheets and then I do get.workbook. Okay. So once you do get.workbook and you use the first parameter as one, it gives you a list of worksheets in the workbook. But because it's going to spill from left to right, and I want it to spill from top to bottom, I'm going to use a transpose in this case. So transpose, right? Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, and then close, okay? All right, so let's see how that works. So we do list of sheets here. Right, good. So it gives us a list of worksheets, but it appends the name of the workbook. So what you're just going to do is, if you look at it, you can see that after the closing square brackets, you have the name of the worksheet. So we can use a text after now, right? And just say text after. And from text after, I want everything after, you know, the uh, square bracket. Okay. And now you have a list of worksheets in the workbook. So list of sheets. Okay. So that's what this is, right? Okay. And pretty much you have what you want. But the only thing is you may want to exclude the sneak peek sheets. Because the sneak peek sheet is where you are. You want it to start from introduction and go all the way. So we could maybe do a drop here. You know, and just say drop, you know, first name there. Because you know that sneak peek is in position one. Okay. So this way, it will just be showing every other sheet. So basically, that's what you have. So now, let's get to the part where we kind of get the names of, you know, the worksheets that we want. So we want to have... You know, something that looks like this. Say one, two, three, four. We want this one, two, three, four, you know, to be able to change when I move to the next set, five, six, seven, eight. The next one should be able to change to, you know, nine, 10, 11, 12, and so on. If you kind of think about it, you know, from arithmetic progression standpoint, you just need something that looks like, you know, four N minus three, because it's four panels, you know, and then, 
the formula is always simple. It's like A and the other number is A minus 1. So if there were five panels, you need something like 5N minus 4. You'll see what I'm trying to create here. Okay, so let's say I have here number 1, which is supposed to be like, let's say, the sheet index. So number 1 means you're going to show me the first set, right, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. I want these numbers to be 1, 2, 3, 4. When I change this to 2, I want these numbers to be 5, 6, 7, 8. So first way, you can start off, you know, using a sequence function, okay? And if you say sequence of four rows, you know, you have your 1, 2, 3, 4. But of course, this is not dynamic at all, right? So the only thing you need to change here is your start. Your start just needs to be 4, you know, this n minus 3. Like I said, if it was 5 panels, it would be 5n minus 4. So let's see what happens. It's still 1, 2, 3, 4. Change this to 2. You can see it's 5, 6, 7, 8, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on. Okay? So this way, if this number changes, this index would also change. And with this, I can then pick, you know, the names of those worksheets. So what do I do? I use an index function. I select all the worksheets here, and then I pick these numbers, basically. All right? So if this changes to 2, you can see these are the names of the worksheets. If it changes to 1, these are the first, you know, set of sheets. All right. So let's try and, you know, finish this up to create the strings we really need. If you look at this formula bar, you can see here that is the sheet name and exclamation mark and, you know, the range. But don't forget that if your sheet name has a space in there, then it's not going to look like this. It's going to start off with an apostrophe, you know, the name of the sheet. It's going to have an apostrophe, an exclamation, and the range. So we are just going to try and create that. All right. That's the string we need. So here, before I put the index, which will just give me the sheet name, I would start up by first putting the, you know, apostrophe. I will concatenate it with the sheet name correctly. That's fine. And then I will concatenate it with the closing, uh, you know, parent, um, sorry, <laughs> single quotes. Then I have the exclamation. And then I choose a range. Maybe for my range, I may just want to say A1 to M30, something like that. You know, I just do that. Uh, what did I do wrong? Oh, sorry. I don't need this distracted there <laughs> so okay all right so basically you know that's what you have so those are the strings you need so if you feed any of these strings into you know the formula bar here you know for this image it's going to pick it up okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create four named ranges for the four panels i have there right and i'm going to point each one to one of these names so i'm going to start up using you know control f3 so i'm going to do new and then I'm going to call this one maybe first image. Basically, I'm just going to feed that string into indirect. So I'm going to do indirect function, and I'm going to pick this. Okay, so that's what I need. That will be for the first image. I'm just going to copy that to have it in memory. Next one, I'm going to do second image, right? I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm not pointing at D4. I'm going to point at D5, All right? So... Just change that to five. Okay, do okay. Then here, I'm going to do third image. And this one, we're going to point at what? You can guess already. D6. Okay. And then I'm going to do fourth image. It's really, you know, interesting how you just, you know, combine a lot of ideas, you know, getting sheet names with named ranges, you know. Okay, so and here, this one is going to be seven, if I got that correct. Okay, so those are the four of them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come here, you know, on the first image that I've, I've created here. I'm just going to do this here. So I'm going to do control, select this here, control, you know, bring it here, uh, control, you know, take this, you know, here, right? So now for the first one, I'm just going to point it to your know, first images. First image basically is going to be this string here. And indirect, you know, will then return whatever is in, you know, that reference. Okay, so first image, that's first image. Then here, second image, right? Then this one, third image, and this one, yeah, fourth image, right? So basically, that's it. Now, if this number changes from one to two, now you can see that that switches, right? Because once it changes to two, all these would update, the sheet names would update, then the images would update, all right? And then you can change this to three, 
you know, change this to four. The only thing I'm doing, you know, with the form control is just having an interesting way of increasing, you know, the numbers and reducing the numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the developer tab, do insert, and let's pull, you know, mm, that is it. let's use a scroll. Let's use a scroll back. That's what I used in the other one. Okay, so I'm just going to put the scroll back here, right? And let's format it a little. So basically, current value, well, I mean, that's not really my problem. <laughs> that's it for minimum value one. Um, the maximum value, of course, I'm just being simplistic here. It's good if this is dynamic. You know, if you have 40 sheets and you're dividing by four, that means, you know, you scroll 10 times. If you have 60 sheets, you scroll 15 times. But for now, I'm going to just keep it at, say, six or seven. So I can say six, and then I link this to this cell here. That means that whenever I click on the scroll bar, that value is going to change. Okay, so let's see. Basically, that's that. Come here. So that's one. So once you click this once, right? So that's the next set. That's two. Next set, you know, that's three. You know, next set, four. Okay, next set, you know, five. Now, the funny thing is that when you go further, like you can see now here, you're having reference errors, but the images here, you know, are pretty much, you know, not changing. So that's maybe something, you know, that you want to fix. So I want to create something else, you know, to take the place of, you know, a ref error. So when I have a ref error, I would want you to let me know that, yeah, there really isn't any worksheet to go through, you know, anymore. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to do something simple here. Let's come down here. So maybe I just go to insert, you know, I just put like uh, a text box. Okay, so here I'm just going to do you know, out of range. Okay, so basically let's make it. And I don't even need a selection. Hold on here. Uh, so yeah, let's do this. So what do we do? Let's make it bold. Let's make it blue. Let's try 72. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. All right. That looks pretty big. <laughs> but okay. Out of uh, range. I want to have it, you know, like in three lines. Okay. Let me see if that's too big. Yeah, it kind of feels like. But it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, make it centralized. Let's reduce it a little. Okay. Something like this. Okay, fine. So now it's just to have an idea of the range where this is. I can say this is H to O, and this is like from row 31 to row 47. Okay, row 31 to row 47. So it's more like saying, you know, you're on the sneak peek sheet, you know, sneak peek sheet, and then you're from H31 to say, you know, O or N anyone let's say n47 something like that okay but i'm not really interested in you know the range i just need the name all right so what i'm going to do is this uh, let me just take this back okay so what i'm going to do is this here you know where i'm kind of pulling the sheet name i will just use an if error basically and say if it's an error you know what i want you to do is to you know, use this as the range name instead. So meaning that, of course, you know, there's an indirect in uh, my formula uh, manager, name manager. So what's going to happen is that if there's an error, you know, it's going to show that out of range instead. So I'm going to close the brackets here and then I'm going to do it. Right. So you can see that automatically once you kind of run out of sheets, you know, but when you still have, uh, you know, sheets to show, yeah, that kind of works. But once you run out of sheets, like in this case, you know, um, let's see. Yeah, you kind of see an out of range, which is really cool. So basically, that's kind of how it all ties together. I mean, you can include some VBA in such a way that, you know, based on the number of worksheets, you know, the maximum number for the scroll bar would change and all of that. But I was just looking for simple ideas, you know, to creating the same thing without necessarily writing any code. So I hope you kind of enjoyed this video, you know, where you can view multiple worksheets at once on one worksheet of course you can make these six panels eight panels whatever um setting it up would take a little time but once you set it up you know it's something that uh you know you can easily you know apply and use that to kind of view what's going on on all the other worksheets so i hope you really 
love this video if you did please hit the like button you can also subscribe to the channel excel moments you know for now i'm out